What's up, guys? Jack Stelkari playing Hand of Fate. Now, this is basically a Dungeons and Dragons kind of board game. Kind How of empty thing. my cabinet looks now. Just do that so it turns it down a little bit. And basically, it's just a board that you go up, go across, and there's different encounters. I've done all these ones by myself. I am up to Queen of Scales. It's a little bit tricky to get on later on down the line, but I thought, it'd be, I thought it would make a really good video. Like just a little video, and I haven't played this for a while. It's a really good game. I got it. I think it was when it was in early access. I think it's properly out now. So the law. <coughs> it is said that in, if you destroy a queen's tot, the spell will be broken and any surrounding lizards will be da damaged. It is not known whether anyone has successfully achieved this. The queen is elegant and deadly. So yeah, you get to make your own deck. But it is random. Like I can go in equipments, and these are all my equipment cards. This is what I've got to play with. I'm gonna get rid of one of these axes, one of these swords, and thunder strike, skeleton sword. Actually, no. I'm gonna get rid of this axe as well. Get mortal whimsy. Yeah, so you get weapons, you get shields, armor, helmets, artifacts, and trinkets. All do different things, like the artifacts, I think, sort of like act as spells. Helmets do different things, like they give you better armor, they make you stronger against certain things. Armor's the same. How much? Oh, I need some more armor. Um, Bashing that can kill regular skeletons and stun others. So that's better than normal shield. Actually, these are all better shields, so let's hit them out. Do that. Uh, medium armor, forbidden. Ooh, mithril armor. That one, that one. And that one. So I need to get rid of some stuff. So let's get rid of that. Ah oh, shit, no, I didn't do it the other way. Oh fuck. I've been doing it the other way. The bottom is the deck. This is all the cards that you have. Alright then, so let's go get rid of them. He's back on. Because I'm a dumb. So then we want that one, that one. That one. Get rid of these boring ones. And get desperate measures. Frostfang. Life's limb. Anything else I don't want in this group? Hmm. No, but I need to get rid of one. So let's get rid of the holy ring. Then there is. Oh, difficult. That's new. Huh. Oh dear, I'm gonna play more, haven't I? Oh god. And then you get encounters. So, the ones with little emblems at the bottom are ones that you can get new talk you get tokens when you play and if you successfully do it you get a token which gives you more cards or like the extra one like this one local peasant then it goes to hang on there's a better one hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on where is it actually is that still on here no uh da -da 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 -da. Son of a bitch! Right, so I haven't done that one, but on the 
top bits with the locked one, it means that you cannot touch the whole grain yet. That could go. Like that one in. So, yeah, the little emblems, if you do a certain thing, you get the ability to get new cards and stuff. Some of these are just quite helpful anyway. Like. Shop. You can you get gold and all this that and the other. It's helpful. So that's all that done. Start the game. New content awaits you. It will be awarded when you complete your run. <laughs> he also puts he puts some of his cards in. All as well. the world is a game board. Sweet. And us men and women merely players. See, I alone do not play. I maintain the rules. You have choices, and I have predestination. When you ready, Matt? Your choices, though, <laughs> are merely a rediscovery of that which you already know. Finished? Good. So, this card is called Fortitude's Breath. On the right, it says what it's called, and it gives you a little description, and tells you what it does. It gives you a counter and reflect. Every third, every third encounter does not consume food. Ooh, great. B button to shield, bash target, stunning it. And then on the left is what I've got already, which is not as good. So Are you sure that that's the right approach? So it's this lizard here. Receive one food for every lizard killed. Awesome. So sometimes he gives you blessings. Uh, at the beginning, he doesn't really give you anything. But yeah, this is basically what it looks like. So all you're going to do is... Move to a different card. I've got Sea Voyage. To me, it's Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and the rush of wind, is there? Which would mean I move to the next area. But, like it says here, your journey will take you across the sea. You have discovered the exit to this area. I can board the ship, which takes me to the next area, or I can turn back to do the other bits and pieces, which I'm going to do. Because can I not see them? I want to do Lich and Demon Trader. And on the left as well, in the bottom corner, you can see my health, food, and gold. And behind that is all my um, blessings, my curses, and my equipment. Have a look at it, shall we? That's my character. That's the shield I've got. That's the these are the trinkets I've got. Here is all you have gained. Alright, this has changed from when I last played. But, but yeah, that's the weapon I've got. It's a crappy axe. It only does 25 damage, but it's... Yeah, so there's my curses. Oh, there you go. It tells you that. Curse luck. So, the difficulty of picking up a successful chance card is decreased. Oh, and there's an eater. <coughs> so yeah, there's the basics. Let's go to the Lich. Lich. There are so many ways to hang on to just one more moment of life, but at what price? The Lich is an undead, a undead able to hurt deadly balls of mag magical fire. She can also consume other enemies in, other, in order to restore her health. Liches are known in legend as the greatest of the undead. Only the most powerful or most foolhardy hardy of the, of the wizards attempt to summon one. I know the most unlucky actually succeed. Right. Let us take look. a token on their foolishness. Yeah, so I'm getting a token if I do well. So let's find out. In the ruins of an old temple, you feel the presence of something evil and unnatural. You have discovered the Lich, a powerful mid Lich. I can either flee from it, which I'm guessing won't give me the token and it won't let me continue down, so I'm going to attack it. You bravely approach the evil undead. And now we enter the battle stage. So I'm going to go up against four skeletons as well. Oh, that looks look cool. The lich. Here I am. Let's do this. So. Oh, 
take out these first, hopefully not. I. Dodge, dodge, dodge! Holy shit, I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, fuck. Nope, 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 nope. I don't wanna die! This was a dumb mistake. No. No. Ah, oh, shit. There's one. Whoa! <laughs> Almost. Come on. That's them out the way. Your turn, Lich. You still alive? Ah, oh, shit! Blood stains the ground beneath your corpse. Damn it! Are you surprised to meet challenges at this point? No. Another of my servants fulfills his duties. Oh, will I get these? So sweet. What do I get? Murder at sea DLC. Has arrived. Visit the landlocked lover to begin the quest. Sweet. Ah, oh, I didn't know I had these. The hunt of the white minotaur has begun. Oh, I'm gonna get back into this. The white council is expanding its influence. <laughs> Goblin King's Hall DLC is ready. And... The Underworld awaits your sacrifice. Oh, more cards, more fun, more devastation.